more than ever, people realize that water is our most precious resource. Every drop is essential to everyone's life and to Durham's economic sustainability, especially the water we use at home. Did you know that single family homes are the highest residential water users? I'm Bill Ray for DurhamSavesWater.org. In May of 2008, the Durham City Council voted to implement rate increases in a new tiered rate structure to encourage the efficient use of water and conservation. In the next few minutes, I'll explain the tiers, give you some simple tips to save water and money. It's easy, it's good for the environment, and it's good for Durham. How you doing? Here's how it works. Efficient and essential water uses are captured in the lowest tier, known as Super Saver Tier 1. Discretionary use, such as irrigation, car washing, and filling pools, can bump customers into higher and more expensive tiers. So the less water you use, the lower your rate, and the more money you save. Understandably, you may have some questions, but I've got the answers for you. When will I receive my first bill with the new rates? Well, customers who are billed primarily bi-monthly, those are residential customers, will see the change in their bill in September. On the other hand, customers who receive water bills on a monthly basis, primarily non-residential, have already seen the rate change in their August bill for water used after July 1st. Why are only single-family residential customers subject to the new tiered structure? Well, residential customers have the most opportunities for the most savings. Business and commercial customers use water in a more consistent and controlled way as as required by their daily processes and operations, but everyone is being asked to implement conservation measures. What is the typical increase for residential customers for the year 2008? Well, the Super Saver Tier 1 is the most efficient and lowest level. Those using up to 400 cubic feet in a two-month billing cycle will pay about $5.37 more per month, which equals $10.74 more each by monthly billing period on a combined water and sewer bill. It is estimated that most Durham single-family residential customers will fall into a combination of tiers two and three. Single-family residential customers who use 800 cubic feet will pay approximately $7.38 more per month or about $15 more in a two-month billing cycle. All single-family residential customers are encouraged to conserve water. That way they can stay within the lowest tier. If I use water in the higher tiers, is all my water use billed at the higher rates? No, the only thing calculated at the higher rates is your overage or excess over the basic level. Will sewer charges be assessed at the tiered rates? Well, no. As a matter of fact, the sewer rates didn't even go up. Only the service charge portion of the sewer bill went up. So why was the water and sewer rate increase necessary for this year? In the past several years, the City of Durham has gradually been raising the water and sewer rates. Unfortunately, these increases have not been enough to cover the large capital projects that are required for the city to continue to provide an adequate supply of safe drinking water for our customers. So why was the increase so big this year? Well, the rates that were in effect did not fully recover the costs of providing the service. For several years, one-time revenues, such as fund balance, the city's rainy day fund, and sales of water to other localities provided a subsidy to the water rates. These one-time revenues are no longer available to the city. Deferred maintenance and capital improvements to the system also required attention, along with our debt coverage requirements on revenue bonds issued to provide for capital needs of the water and sewer systems. Were rates raised because of lost revenue due to the drought? And can an extended drought affect water and sewer rates? Well, first of all, no, rates were not raised because of lost revenues due to the drought. Even with restrictions in place for nine months, revenue was close to what was anticipated. But additional drought-related expenses, such as cost increases for chemicals, fuel, and energy for water and wastewater treatment did occur. Remember, the amount of water used is only one factor in the cost of maintaining quality water and sewer systems. There are ongoing costs for making sure that water is there every time you turn on the faucet or flush the toilet. The water and sewer service charges cover this. What can I do to save water? Well, there are many things Durham citizens can do to use water more efficiently, whether it be at work, home, or even at school. Think of water as a precious commodity that needs to be protected and conserved. For starters, repair all leaks and drips. They add up to money down the drain. Install faucet aerators and turn off the water while brushing your teeth or shaving. Keep tub bathing to a minimum. Instead, install water-efficient shower heads and quick showers of five minutes or less. 
It's also wise to install a new high efficiency toilet if possible or use a toilet displacement device in your tank. For big savings, replace your old dishwasher and washing machine with new efficient models if possible. Run both only when full and do laundry in cold water. Outdoors, use a broom to clear debris from walkways and driveways instead of hosing them down with water. And when washing a car, use soap and water from a bucket. Use a hose with a shutoff nozzle for the final rinse only. For landscaping, install native, low water use, drought tolerant trees and plants and mulch to retain moisture. Water your lawn only when evaporation will be limited, usually early morning or evening. One deep watering of an inch per week is better than lighter, more frequent waterings. And make sure sprinklers water only the landscape, not the driveway or street. And don't water on windy days. There's so much you can do to save money for the more important things in life while sustaining Durham's precious water resources, the environment, and the economy. Visit DurhamSavesWater.org for 111 simple, everyday tips you're going to love on reducing your water use. You'll also find an online water calculator to help you save water and money by staying in the Super Saver Tier 1. Hey, start saving water and helping our city, your city, meet its conservation goals. Together we can make saving water and lowering your utility bills a win-win solution. If you have further questions, visit DurhamSavesWater.org or call Durham One Call at 560-1200.